Hi, welcome to The Peaceful Home. If you're new here, I'm Teresa Elling. I'm a professional organizer, parenting coach, and homeschool mom of six graduated kids. Today I'm joining with Jamie at Board and Bananas for her Flippin' Friday. So each month she hosts this collaboration in which you're to take either a thrifted find or something in your home that needs new life. Make sure you check out the playlist below that will take you to each video that's in this collaboration. Today I am coming to the end of my bathroom renovation, really a design redo, and I'm so excited to show it to you. This is my very last project. I decided getting to the end of all of this, my budget was done and I planned on replacing the light fixture. Instead, I'm just going to take it down and give it a coat of spray paint and just give it a new look. This is Canyon Black. Rust-Oleum 2X, my favorite paint. <laughs> I love spray paint because it just instantly transforms items. Canyon Black is what I have used absolutely the most, hands down, in my home for so many projects. So we're gonna get started going through step by step how I'm going to paint the light fixture. My husband helped me remove the light fixture from the wall, removing the nuts and bolts, and then twisting off the caps that are over the two sets of wires. In addition, you need to remove the ground so that the um, light fixture pulls away completely from the wall. If you are unfamiliar with how to do this, please get a professional or someone else to help you with it. Once you have the fixture down, you can remove the light bulbs and then there is a, an O-ring inside that attaches the shade to the fixture. So you unscrew those rings and the glass shades will come right out. The next step is to use soapy water to remove all of the dust and grime so that you have a smooth, clean surface for painting. And then you just want to dry the fixture and it's ready to be painted. Next, I used soap and water to scrub out the glass fixtures and set them aside to dry. I gathered some newspaper and tore it into pieces so that I could wrap it around the electrical part of the fixture. And I just tuck the remaining bit into the hole and it holds pretty well. So I did that for all three sockets and then I also crumpled some newspaper and got some blue tape and just pushed it over the back of the fixture and taped it in place so that it wouldn't come out. I find it easiest to flip the piece upside down and catch the underside first. Then I can turn it over and paint it right side up the basics you need to know for spray painting is to do a back and forth motion, moving your hand across fairly quickly and pulling back a little bit on each end so that you don't end up with a higher concentration of paint on your ends. And it's important as well to do a light first coat. If you go too heavy, you have a good chance of getting drips. If that does happen, go ahead and wipe the drip away and do a very light coat over it and wait until you can do a second coat. Here I'm going back over and doing the second coat, which it didn't take much because the coverage is so great with this paint that the first coat almost did it. But when you're doing a second coat, make sure that you're coming at it from every single angle, um, walking around the piece as well as turning it different directions to make sure that you get full coverage. Here's a picture of the bathroom before. Uh, this is after the shiplap was installed, but I often forget to take before photos. We took down an oval mirror, and here's just the clutter from some construction. And now we're ready to see the after. Here is the finished fixture, and I think the black is such an improvement. I'll show you in context of the whole restroom. I'm so pleased with the way this bathroom turned out especially the stencil. I looked at wallpaper and stencils and ultimately chose this. 
and I just think it's beautiful. We just did one focal wall. I'm still looking for the perfect rug for this spot, but for now, my uh, daughter had this rug that I could borrow. And uh, I painted this mirror. I still don't know how to not have myself be in a shot while I'm filming. Um, and you can see how the light fixture just draws your eye up to these high ceilings. Just have a little lantern here that I thrifted with some eucalyptus and candles and soap. And you may recognize the sign that is a Magnolia home sign from Target. I think it's a perfect fit here. Found this cute step stool, great for the grandkids. These cabinets I painted, I didn't love the granite, but it's what came with the house and it's beautiful and perfectly good. So I wasn't going to replace it. I just chose to paint and wax the cabinet, kind of trying to match the counter and also the floors. This is a great place to have real plants or faux plants. The ones that are up high are all fake and that is easier for me. I don't have to worry about trying to get to them to water them regularly. I really didn't want to dust blinds and a restroom's not the best place for curtains necessarily. So we went with these um, cling on panels that I got at Home Depot and they just uh, block anyone from seeing in, but they let the light in. I think that was a great choice for this space. This wall is one of my favorites. I used uh, faux succulents in this basket that I thrifted and I've got some real plants. And this side table from Hobby Lobby was the perfect size. I took this poster and added the strips of wood so that I could hang it. My amazing husband did the shiplap in here and it turned out so great. I'm just thrilled with it. And my son-in-law came in with the paint sprayer, sprayed the entire thing, alabaster, which is my favorite indoor color. This bathroom felt so stark and bland to me before. And now I walk in and it just makes me happy. I'm so glad you were able to join me today for my bathroom tour and for Board or Banana's collaboration for Flipping Friday. It was so fun to be able to give new life to this light fixture, and it's the perfect thing to end my renovation and get the look that I wanted in here. If you're new here, I would love it if you subscribed to The Peaceful Home. We cover all things home and family. I hope you have a great day.